Around the World in 80 Prayers. Right now, in the heights of the Himalayas, there is a Lama invoking consciousness. Up there with his double darji scepter pointing heavenward, here he ponders the infinite, the mysterious. Incantations with prayer wheel spinning, Om Mani Pemi Home. A line stream of mountain incense curls out of sight. He sits in an orange robe, glassy-eyed and certain of his whereabouts. He alone in the Himalayan seclusion prays unceasingly for the liberation of all sentience, humbly urging the cosmic energies to bless these kinfolk. This Lama knows about love. He will never let up in his assistance of mankind. A garden site where monks tenderly care for plants, they have long since left the norm, living only with members of the same creed. Zen offers man will a chance to see. Their goods are the simple life, the appreciation of nature, and of course the technique of making good tea. The priest, in his stately gown, sprinkles the water of life upon the young forehead of a child. He recites in Latin. These are the sounds that he relates to. He prays with others in the Brotherhood group prayer method. His monastery is in the confines of the city. The priest presents the strict religious no-fault life. Then there are the Taoists, who through contemporary elaborate ritual incorporate themselves with the Tao. They write secret characters on rice paper and formulate the elixir in obscure receptacles. Their actions are felt far and wide. They stroll our earth leisurely, as humanity has been likened to a great sea which is affected by each individual. So these individuals, being found in mountain retreats, monasteries, and prominent cities, have a calming that is universal. Their value is great in that they are working for the highest evolutionary consciousness attainable. Their children are influenced, and they, in turn, influence the world. Remember that ye are not alone in your wanderings, and that there are others doing likewise. We are in every sense together on this excursion, together on earth, in time, through space. September 23, 1975